love you, Costa Rica. Goodbye. I'll freaking miss you. Hey guys, so my trip to Costa Rica is coming to an end. I have said a tearful goodbye to a few beautiful souls now and um, I'll miss the terrain, I'll miss the fruit. And the people are so wonderful here. Don't let anybody tell you any different. I just fell in love with everyone and everything in life and you know I love my life back home too I love everything about it it's just so different and it was so nice to open my wings and fly and come out here and see what else is out here and um, it definitely gives me perspective Perspective is so important in life so that you know what you want and you go for the things you want and you cherish every moment, every, every moment so much more when, you know, it's fleeting, you know, it's so precious, you gotta hold on to it, you gotta hang on tightly and let go lightly. I have this one is for the ladies bring less things I made a what I pack for my trip video I should have packed less um, definitely I should have packed like just one or two warmer things because if you're gonna stay in the mountains or you're coming down from the mountains it's kind of nice to have those warmer clothing items um, and also like with bikinis girls just wear the one that doesn't fall off like these waves don't play so make sure oh look at this place oh. I keep stopping to have to like turn this camera around it's ridiculous look how beautiful um yeah girls wear the bikini that doesn't fall off because the waves will knock it off so I ended up you know bringing a couple of suits because I'm thinking I'm gonna take pictures and look cute or whatever and um you know I ended up wearing the most comfortable ones at the end of the day um, luckily, they don't take up much room. They're not that bulky. Um, I did have a few things that I just washed by hands and laid out in the sun. So, you know, you could always do that. What I really should have brought was more shorts. I definitely felt like the need for more shorts. Oh my God, look at this. Farewell, my Costa Rica. Yeah, it's just such a beautiful country, and I wish all of you get to experience something like this in your life. Um, what else, what else, what else did I find useful? Oh yes, go to the hole in the wall restaurants. Go to the ones that look like beat up or like not even popular. Those places have really good food and you will always find something vegan. You know, download Google Translate, that was really helpful. Um, my first half of the trip, I had my friend Enrique. He spoke some Spanish, really good Spanish, actually. It was really helpful. So if you have a Spanish speaker in the group, um, that friend is gold. And, um, you know, Google Translate, just have like a few phrases ready, things you might, you think you might say. You can actually like 
um, have them prepared and kind of go over them and, and study them before you come. Just learn a few phrases before you come to a foreign country because the locals really appreciate it when you initiate the conversation in Spanish or at least try. It's just respectful and nice. And I definitely learned a lot of Spanish since I was here. Not like a lot, but a few phrases. And it feels good. It felt like nice to be able to try. I definitely did not buy any souvenirs this time around. I decided to, you know, be easy on the spending. I spent most of my money into the rental car, the Airbnbs, the food, and um, whale watching. Uh, I recommend that highly, highly, highly. So if you haven't seen that video yet, um, make sure you check out my Costa Rica playlist for all the videos previous to this one. And you can see all the fun and adventure that you could have, or that I had, or, or whatever. And um, yeah, it's just perfect out here. The weather was great. Back home, everyone's like freezing a little bit, like it's chilly back in Florida, but it'll you know, warm up, you know, it's Florida paradise as well. I can't complain. Um, definitely, definitely warmer here though. <laughs> also, the gas stations are not as close together as back home. So if you see a gas station, you're low, just get gas. You know, they kind of pump the gas for you. You don't even have to touch the gas. It's interesting how they do it here. It creates more jobs. I think that's really cool. The gas goes far, especially in this car. I just had like a half a tank and I'm still a half a tank and I've drove like half the country already. It's crazy how, how much you can get on gas here. Especially going up and down the mountains, it's kind of interesting how you can get so much out of it. This is gorgeous. Florida is definitely flat and this just amazes me when I see landscape like that. It's just gorgeous. We don't have any rocks or anything like this. It's incredible. The weather, of course, is perfect today. It's 33 degrees Celsius outside. And um, I'm off to my Airbnb. For my last night, I got an Airbnb in San Jose. I'll show you guys in a little bit. It is um, simple, very inexpensive. It's close to the airport because my flight is at like 6 something, 6.41 a.m. So, you know, you gotta check in, I gotta return the rental car, and you know, I don't wanna have to drive all the way from the beach for these three or four hours, um, depending on who's in front of you. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd leave today while it's daylight. It's, again, just breathtaking. Yeah, so I thought that was the wise choice to drive back. At least I got a half a day more with my friends. Got to see that beautiful fruit market in San Isidro. And um, it's just precious, precious moments, y'all. Take it all in wherever you are. You know, you're always, you're always home and exactly where you need to be at all times. This is just... So beautiful. All right, and then what else is helpful? Cash. Cash is great. So you want to? I brought like a thousand dollars cash. I left some American, and I also turned some into colones, which is the money here in Costa Rica. And um, I, I turned 800 bucks into colones, and that lasted me really just perfectly. You know, I, I spent um, pretty frugally, but I also had a few nice lunches and dinners. Like, it wasn't too extravagant, but we did have some nice uh, lunches and dinners. And, um, you know, we, we spent money at those hole in the wall, mom and pop shop kind of small places, um, a little more frugal spending. Um, but yeah, you don't have to spend a lot here to have fun. And of course, you know, if you if you want to do excursions, maybe a little bit more, you can always use your card in many places. So that's kind of nice. I felt the amount I brought was just right for my two weeks here. And um, I wouldn't do it any other way. All right, so another important thing is when you land in Costa Rica, you kind of want to know where you're going to go. So 
want to have your first Airbnb or place of stay reserved like us. We kind of did it adventurous style. We kind of went from place to place. Luckily, there was just three of us and we would easily agree on where to go. You know, some people might have like maybe a different budget, so that might be a little bit of a challenge, but you kind of talk and discuss and, you know, they always figure it out. So Airbnb offered a lot of options for us where everyone was happy. And, um, you know, in each of my videos, I, I will link where we stayed. So if you guys are interested in finding those places, you can. And um, yeah, so it depends on budget and time. You know, that was just a little bit of a setback, just a little bit, just to find the next place. When we were in the next place, we kind of had to spend a little time, okay, where we're gonna go next, where we're gonna go next. So what helped was to stay two or three nights per place to kind of like settle down. Um, when we had one night stay here, one night stay there, it was kind of like a little bit more hectic feeling. And um, I do recommend staying at least two or three nights at each Airbnb so that you can really take in the environment. Um, this way you can, you know, when you're in Costa Rica, you can be like, oh, I want to go here, I want to go there. Now that I see it, you know, it's just, you might change your mind or you might say, hey, let's go here. And you don't have to um, worry about your future reservations, but, oh, but we're booked over there. You know what I'm saying? So you can be a little bit more free this way to kind of play it by ear. Some people might not like that style. Some people might like to have it all planned out before they even get here and that's okay. That's just not how we did it. Um, so yeah, just a little insight on that. Definitely have um, good communication with your friends on where to go and where you're gonna be. On that topic, what really helped me was just to kind of like pick a region and then, you know, you can make little favorites lists on Airbnb. You can kind of save in the head of time like what you like so that you can kind of just go back to your list and say, okay, now what places did I like now that we're here? And you can just kind of go from there. I think that was really helpful to me too when I did that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna talk about the toilet subject. You cannot flush toilet paper here in Costa Rica. No, you can't. They have a different septic system and it just won't do. So you cannot just flush toilet paper. So be ready for that experience. Um, that's all I gotta say. Another one, air conditioning. You might only get air conditioning in your rental car. So if you are a person that just cannot stand it, I'm so sorry, but there are places that do not have air conditioning. Maybe make sure that when you're checking on Airbnbs that you have that feature checked off, that you want AC, because not many places do. And some of the good places don't have it. Some of those really good places. But if you're in the mountains, guess what? It's cold and you won't need it. So just check out where you are staying. You might not even need the AC, but, um, that might be a surprise to a lot of people that these places don't have air conditioning and that's okay. It's really enjoyable. Some of them have a nice fan in the room and it's just fine. Um, in my last tree house, I was cold a couple nights. I had the fan on and it was just like, the sheets were really thin and you know, I was a little bit cold, but hey, I had proper covers and I just put on leggings and I was fine. So yeah, air conditioning is like this in Costa Rica, yes and no. Yo, you guys, look at that shit. Wow. I hope you guys can see this rainbow. It's amazing. Wow. So I've 
made it to my final Airbnb here in Costa Rica. I'm in San Jose. It's a really cute one. You know, if you want something 10 minutes from the airport, this has got it, you know? Um, I'll give you guys a little tour. Got a regular kitchen. Cute living room. Here's like this really nice little lounging room with a beautiful sunset. This will be my last one for this journey, for this trip. It'll be the nice mountain view. Hopefully not the last sunset I see in Costa Rica. And here I am. <laughs> and the master bedroom. Oh, the bathroom. There's even a laundry room here, which is great. And here is where I'll sleep. And I even have two little balconies, this one and that one. Yeah, so this is nice. I like it. So yeah, it just has everything I need. Literally, just for like a couple of hours. I will be here until like 3.30 a.m. Got an early flight. Yeah, so. Pura vida. <laughs>